Hello, and welcome to this introductory session on the MA in Technology and Change program at Srishti Manipal Institute of Art, Design, and Technology in Bangalore, India. This program is among the newest additions to the postgraduate arts offerings at Srishti Manipal. And with my co-participants, Naveen Bagalpot, Nitya Kirti M, and Sai Vidyashri Giridharan, I thank you for viewing this recording, in which we will cover aspects of the program, introduce ourselves and our work in relationship to the program, and conclude with important dates and information on admissions and next steps. The MA in Technology and Change is a two-year program for students in the arts, humanities, design, as well as the sciences to build a critical and cultural studies approach to examining the relationship between technology and society. To a range of research-based pedagogical offerings in format of studios, seminars, workshops, ateliers, transdisciplinary research labs and centers, as well as independent studies and capstone works, students are encouraged to develop and sharpen lines of inquiry that center and illuminate the conditions of a technological world, including but not limited to the digital. These lines of inquiry not only connect to and draw from participating faculty members' research, but also a range of concurrent learning infrastructures and scholarly spaces at the institution, such as media labs, art and activism collectives, design education initiatives, and publicly engaged curatorial practices. At the heart of this program, we ask, what are the histories and theories of technoscapes of community storytelling, archival production, systems design, social media organizing, critical pedagogy, and computational tool design that define the human and non-human conditions of living and learning in India, but also conditions of knowledge production and knowledge circulation across comparable contexts and infrastructures within and between the global south and the global north. Hello, my name is Kush Patel and my pronouns are they and he. I'm a queer feminist educator, writer, and public scholar working at the intersections of architecture and the digital public humanities. I teach at the Srishti Manipal Institute of Art, Design, and Technology, but I also head the postgraduate arts program in technology and change. My research and teaching remain oriented to the theme of survival as both a form and method of historical and theoretical investigations into making just environments across a range of digital and community sites. What you see on this slide are a few selected works, pedagogical projects and writings that have appeared in peer reviewed locations, such as Digital Studies, Le Champ Numerique, Knowledge Justice, Disrupting Library and Information Science through Critical Race Theory, public, a journal of imagining America, and more. I'm also the co-founder of Pedagogy of the Digitally Oppressed, a digital humanities collective that is committed to fostering queer, feminist, and anti-colonial approaches to digital humanities teaching. Hello, I'm Naveen Bagalkot, and um, I am um, an educator, facilitator, and researcher, broadly working with um, and in human computer interaction, information and com uh, communication technology for development, participatory design, and community health and well being. Uh, I have an educational background in architecture, industrial design, and a PhD in interaction design. At uh, Sushti Manipal Institute of Art, Design, and Technology, I oversee and uh, help manage six courses across the undergraduate and postgraduate programs including the uh, MA in Technology and Change. Um, as an educator, I, I work towards creating an environment of learning that kind of expands the horizon of emerging de uh, design practice and also education through a uh, critical and situated engagement with uh, technological ideas and also real world complexities. Um, I'm also part of the Design Beku Collective, um, uh, where I focus on facilitating collaborative design and critical making for and with grassroots community organizations, such as Maya Health, IT for Change, and Jatin Sansan. Um, since 2016, I've been working with Maya Health on in what, what we call as infrastructuring for community care, uh, continuing with the participatory design activities with community health workers, with, with a focus on building 
um, um, local data infrastructures for community health along with international and local collaborators. So what you see on the slide are a set of selections of my publications uh, that are more research oriented and also the work I do um, with the communities in the, in the, in the sites. So the MA in technology and change, of course, follows the um, overall inquiry-based learning pedagogy, uh, which is the base of all postgraduate programs at Shristi Manipal. The pedagogy is structured around three core aspects, as you see on the, on the diagram on, the, on your left-hand side, uh, which is the learning hub, the transdisciplinary research, and the culminating project. Um, the learning hub uh, allows for a choice-based navigation of studios, uh, workshops, and studio seminar units of learning that more or less align with, with the core, uh, in this case, of technology and change. Um, and transdisciplinary research unit um, of allows for developing strands of independent inquiry uh, over the three semesters that are in alignment and, and, and you receive mentoring from one of the many research centers and labs that are at Shristi Manipal. Um, as the inquiry is fostered over three semesters, it culminates into a capstone project, uh, thereby uh, giving a substantial engagement with the, with, with the critical and creative exploration that, uh, that emerges over engagement with uh, over the three semesters. Um, roughly, um, the uh, learning hub offers about 50% of time of the semester, and then um, the students spend about 50% of time on transdisciplinary research every semester. The program is of, of a minimum of two years duration, um, and, and it can be done up to four years maximum with four to eight semesters, uh, allowing for drop blank and make up time if needed. It's an MA by coursework, though almost half of the learning, as I mentioned before, is through engaging in creative and critical inquiry in the space of transdisciplinary research unit. An understanding of technologically defined and mediated histories and futures um, in the plural, but also as visions that are accessible in the present is at the core of the MA in technology and change program. As a postgraduate program in the arts, we emphasize the importance of disrupting the conventional separation of theory and practice in design and scholarship. And thinking with the writings of Bell Hooks, the program centers the analyses of lived experience as one of the fundamental ways in which to begin to build agency in the world. Following Hooks, and I quote, when a lived experience of theorizing is fundamentally linked to processes of self-recovery, of collective liberation, no gap exists between theory and practice. Indeed, what such experience makes most evident is a bond between the two, that ultimately reciprocal process wherein one enables the other. Theory is not inherently a healing, liberatory or revolutionary. It fulfills this function only when we ask that it do so and direct our theorizing towards this end, end quote. As a program committed to the ideas and practices of social justice, it is imperative that we move past any simplistic use of decolonization in scholarship and practice prevalent today and pay attention to both historical, structural, and community-centered ways in which this project remains incomplete. To quote Azar Kosovic and uh, Anasoya Gupta, for example, the decolonization of digital practices calls for an urgent reimagination and redesign of technological spaces with the leadership of marginalized communities through a process free from exploitation. This needs a deeply feminist, human and humane politics and practice, the commitment to address deep inequities and affirm, acknowledge, share and redistribute knowledge without extraction and exploitation." End quote. The main technology and change is structured around these conversations. One of the core approaches to building and supporting students' inquiry formations in this program is through intentional and collaborative engagements with parallel centers, labs, and research initiatives on campus, where students get to elect, participate in, and expand their ongoing curricular work, but also have a chance to inflect inquiries based on, this, on these ongoing projects. We'll be talking about the Just Futures Collab momentarily as one of the labs that is built into the curriculum of the MA in Technology and Change program. Others in conversation with us include spaces that focus on gender justice, such as blank noise, on tinkering with materials and technology, such as art science, BLR, Frugal Design Lab, and a host of prototyping workshops. 
And on community histories, learning and co-production, such as Srishti Films, Center for Public History, Center for Education Research, Training and Development, and Impact Edge Lab, among others. The Just Futures Collab is one of the research labs and centers of System Manipal, which we instituted in October 2021, along uh, Kush and I, along with um, postgraduate students. The vision of the Just Futures Collab acknowledges um, um, technologically mediated futures in the plural and as visions that are also structurally accessible and socially just in the present. We, we came together to call this space a collab to make explicit in name and practice the anti-caste and anti-colonial queer and feminist processes and politics of collaborative and community-centered knowledge production and project making in and with the digital. Um, our orientation is to learn from uh, with and alongside individuals and communities along the campus community spectrum our scholarship will respond to and remain rooted in participatory learning, equitable labor, mutual accountability, and embodied research in history, theory, and design studies. We acknowledge how digital technologies aid in social exploitation, surveillance, dis uh, disenfranchisement, and even epistemic and spatial violence. Our humanities and design-based approaches to digital research and pedagogy, we expect will not only produce cultural critiques, but also model possible alternatives for scholarly and interpersonal care in all such co-productions. The Just Futures Collab offers um, two uh, inquiry spaces. Um, uh, one is um, centered around care, maintenance, and information infrastructures, and the other focuses on inter intersectional feminist histories and futures. The, the Collab fosters these inquiries through uh, mentoring of transdisciplinary research uh, units, uh, postgraduate capstone projects, and also uh, we facilitate public seminars and reading group cities. Um, and we offer three project spaces currently, um, Queer Futurities uh, that is initiated and led by Kush Patel, uh, Futures at the Peripheries and Community Owned Health Knowledge Infrastructures initiated by Naveen Bagalkot. So um, we have announced the admissions for MA in Technology and Change uh, for the academic year 2022-23. The eligibility uh, is that the applicants should have successfully completed any one of the following. That is a graduate diploma in a program in, in the arts of 10 plus five level from a recognized university, um, NSQF certification level seven in relevant industry sector, national and international universities, three years undergraduate degree and national and international universities of four years undergraduate degree or a professional institute of five years undergrad, undergraduate degree. Please do note that all the awarding bodies must be recognized by state and or central government institutions. The course fees and, and, and its detailed breakup are on our website, uh, but the total course fees, which excludes living and hostel costs are um, the tuitions for, for both for each year is 3,45,000, uh, but the total comes to year one is, is 4,64,000 and year two is 4,19,000. As such, at Shristi Manipal, um, for the academic year 2022-23, does not offer any scholarships. However, uh, here are some of the possibilities for availing scholarships and financial support. The first is uh, Manipal Mahe um, scholarships. Um, the page has a uh, quite a detailed information of various scholarships that Manipal offers, along with also other possibilities of financial support. Uh, and then the pages to Karnataka government scholarships and national scholarships. Uh, the admission timeline, so uh, we have opened the round two admissions currently, and the key dates are the last date of application is May 26, 2022. Um, then there's going to be a graduate research attitude test that is online on June 11th and 12th, 2022. Then um, we'll have an online interview and counseling sessions from um, June, um, yeah, June 14th to June 18th. And the results will be announced on uh, June 22nd, 2022. Following which then there is a series of dates for you to um, uh, sort of pay the fees and uh, register yourself uh, for the course. Hello everyone. My name is Mudnoor Nitya Kirti. 
I'm currently a first year student in the MA Experience Design program here at Shushti Manipal. I have a background in philosophy and pure humanities and my current emerging inquiry is at the intersections of digital humanities, speculative writing and research creation. I have the privilege of experiencing two units that draw on the technology and change discipline. The first was a semester long theory and understanding seminar facilitated by Dr. Kush Patel, which engaged with the question of the future of human and digital in the context of design and design research from a justice oriented lens. Each week, we engaged with and annotated literature and artifacts that dealt with themes ranging from gender, sexuality, race, caste, class, indigeneity, and disability in critically imagining futures that are intersectional, collectivist, justice-oriented, and co-created by reflecting on the structures and oppressions of the present. At the end of the seminar, we each wrote a love letter to one of the authors we had read, my own being to Audre Lorde, whose work resonated greatly with us, as well as a letter to our own future selves in reiterating some of the lessons learned in the seminar. Secondly, during interlude, which is a period of pause at Shishti Manipal that invited master students and faculty to collectively reflect and respond to the theme of inhabiting learning. I was part of the scaffolds thematic group with Kush as one of the uh, faculty participants. We refer to ourselves as members of the Office of Anti-Inequity and Anti-Exclusive Excellence in critically thinking about institutional scaffolding, which is the structures in an institution that make learning possible or sometimes impossible for its inhabitants. We reflected on our own personal experiences in thinking about where as individual inhabitants of institutions, both in the past and present, we felt affirmed or not affirmed in our full personhood. Our experiences and memories were anchored in physical artifacts with reflections on the same that named our concerns and informed questions of agency to prompt affirmative action and institutional change. These artifacts found place in this collective zine that we made and our engagements in the form of discussions with peers, critical literature and the annotations of publicly available institutional documents of Shishti Manipal itself which informed an open letter that was written collectively by the members addressing institutional leadership. My overall engagement with these course units has directly shaped my transdisciplinary engagement later in the semester at the Art Science BLR lab in critically thinking about the politics of digital archiving and user experience design. It has also further clarified my emerging inquiry in thinking of speculative futures and digital humanities. Oh, oh, please read through the picture while you listen to me talk. I was 19 when I wore my Fitbit. Uh, it's a device that people can wear around their wrist to measure their daily steps, heart rate and more. And there are several types of Fitbits. Uh, I was one among the privileged few to own it. It was expensive and access to it was very special. It was a gift from my brother whom I always look up to. Though I'd like to say I was always a cool and smart person. Cool and smart are the adjectives which meant a lot to me then. I felt Fitbit made me look cooler and smarter. Fitbit made me work on myself to walk more, breathe slowly, to be the better version of myself, the optimized version of myself. Not, not that I was aware of what happened in the back end, you know, the algorithms, conditions, assumptions, or the front end, the numbers and the charts. It I felt uh, that I was solely accountable and responsible for the numbers and that everything was in my control. Now I look back on my lived experience with Fitbit and how it is informing my current research interests. Hi everyone, I thank you for the time and effort you have put to listen to this session. I am Sai Vidya Shri Giridharan and I go by she, her pronouns. I am currently pursuing a master's degree in human center design at SMI. Uh, I have done BTEC, uh, my BTEC in biotechnology. So the pictures uh, on this slide represent my engagements and participation in the uh, MA and MA in technology and change course units. I'll give a brief about it. Uh, a few months back, I was part of the studio, uh, Care Matters and Justice Dreams, which is a course unit of uh, MA and technology and change. Henceforth, I'll address it as MAPC. Uh, this studio was facilitated by Dr. Kush Patel, Head of Studies for the MATC program. 
this studio we worked on and produced care work biographies in relation to our interactions with technology and technological artifacts through a medium called twine uh, which is a micro uh, digital narrative storytelling tool uh, in kush's words uh, how, the bigger question was how might you and we ensure that our current and future interactions with technologies and each other are rooted in and emerge from places and acts of care this is when i started to look at design and imagine design as intersectional accessible and responsive by critically analyzing it through the lenses of caste class gender race and disability so the artifact that i chose was fitbit and i produced my care work biography through a twine game called your move the snaps so the, the snapshots of uh, you know that you can see with the black background and white text or uh, is of the game so this game is a satirical take on mocking technologies that differ or delay inclusive accessible affordable and responsive design technologies that fail to consider that data have value a context and origin story and they by de dehumanizing it technologies that consider accessibility as an afterthought technologies that fail to interpret data not better but just what it deserves the narrative is uh, focused on data feminism which i draw from the project feminist data manifest no i am building upon this work as my capstone project titled analyzing wearable fitness trackers through an intersectional feminist lens i believe intersectionality is a critical keyword for my project Uh, all of our lives are nuanced and interconnected and so should be the tools frameworks technologies and fitness trackers we build to make our societies and humanities work maintain and repair so the next engagement is uh, the theory and an under understanding unit uh, decolonizing design with a question mark in the end which is also facilitated by kush uh, here we worked on a keyword project we did a collective reading and an annotating of the text shared by kush uh, the references on the left or uh, on the slide together we made a list of keywords and each one of us chose a keyword and the corresponding text from the reading and produce an essay by reflecting that particular keyword through the lines of technology and design from a decolonial perspective some of some of the keywords were like jugad data access throughout this engagement we were reminded of eve tuck and kay wen yang uh, 2012 article titled decolonization is not a metaphor and kush always reminded us that decolonization is neither a substitute for some other term nor a concept that can be used interchangeably with other movements the engagements i have had and been having made me reflect on my my own positionality drifting away from this notion that technology can solve anything and up for anything uh, this techno solutionist ideology as someone who is who would want to address uh be addressed as a ux designer user experience designer in the world of industry these engagements may became very crucial as a researcher designer to think cautiously of accessibility inclusivity and accountability thank you and so graduates of the ma in technology and change program um, we hope we expect will be equipped to work uh, in a range of sectors so um, in higher education sector for example as educators administrators researchers across a range of practices from digital studies engaged humanities and community development to journalism design design education social entrepreneurship and governance because this is an ma um, concentration it's also a stepping stone for um, students interested in pursuing phd or even an integrated ma and phd at shrestha manipal institute but graduates can also find themselves a value in the not for profit so social sector as facilitators systems thinkers as critical technological practitioners working with collectives and not for profit organizations towards integrating technological ideas and realities into projects of social and community change and these include but not limited to content and program development environmental and public health services digital publishing digital media and platform innovation among others in the public sector as policy advocates makers researchers within specific groups um, graduates can begin to sort of inflect conversations on how the connections to digital digital technologies and infrastructures connect to community lives but also in 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 the corporate and for profit sector for those who might be interested in sort of being uh, change agents they can see themselves as community entrepreneurs digital journalists critical technology practitioners 
and entrepreneurial individuals in the design and publicity of digital platforms. So um, the admissions for the Technology and Change um, MA program is open. Um, if you have any questions about the information session or, or all, the, all the course of MA in Technology and Change, please do write to Dr. Kush Patel at kush.patel at uh, manipal.edu. Summary of the important dates, the last date of application is May 26, 2022. The online graduate research aptitude test is June 11th and 12th. Online uh, interviews and counseling sessions will be from June 14th to 18th, 2022. And the results will be announced on June 2022. Uh, do visit the, the web pages uh, for admissions and MA and technology and change and the Just Futures collab. Thank you for uh, listening to this and engaging with this session.